Hey everybody, this is David Schooley with the Big John MMA Fight Club. I love this. I get to talk to the coolest people and we get to talk about the coolest stuff, which is MMA. The cool person in this case is Mr. Ricky Johnson. How you doing, Rick? Doing awesome. Thank you for having me. Obviously, huge fan of MMA and also Big John. So kind of cool you put the two together with the best app in fighting and Big John's MMA. And you get guys like me who, um, you know, when you watch, when you sit from the armchair and um, you watch guys fight and you yell at the TV and you <laughs> tell them what they need to do, that they need to punch this guy or armbar this guy or knee or all the different stuff. It's awesome because um, everybody gets a chance to to predict. And now you got it. You got it in one app where guys can sit there and go, nope, I disagree with Rick Johnson. Boom. Or I disagree with John or I disagree with whoever it might be. And you never know. You might be the, you might be the next guy of the Fantasy Fight League that can pick fights and uh, next thing you know, you should go to Vegas. But uh, here we are. <laughs> well, uh, listen, here, here's, here's the deal, man. We're actually giving people bonus points if they outpredict you because you're our guest host. So, you know, we're handicapping you, poor guy. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> but uh, listen, man, you, you're, you're, you're a champion. You've been a champion all your life. Uh, you, you've seen that winter circle in, in motocross, supercross, off-road. You're a current champion now. But, you know, these guys here, these guys are fighting a different kind of fight. And i got to ask your, your opinion on one of them in particular. We're going to talk about Roy Nelson versus Cheek Congo. This is crazy. Two big, strong guys. Talk about polar opposites when, you, when, when you're talking about looks. Uh, but uh, you tell me what you think. This UFC 159, Nelson and Congo. Well, you got black steel versus the iron marshmallow. I mean, it's they, they, they couldn't be they couldn't be more opposite than, than in any way possible. Chuck Congo, I mean, the guy is chiseled and strong and stuff like that. And sometimes you got to watch guys that are so cut and so so muscularly developed because it goes against them. It takes a lot of energy to run that much muscle, and you would look how lean he is and how strong he is and stuff like that. So in the later rounds, you know, sometimes it could come back to hurt you, but. If in the early rounds, if you're trying to hold somebody like that down, yeah. I mean, the guy could probably rip your arm off. But in, in doing so, his competitor, Roy Nelson, man, this guy is a complete game, you know, and he's got a mullet to boot. So he's got every <laughs> everything going for him. You know, he's got the belly, he's got that. But here's what the guy's got. He's got two giant pistons that can knock people out. Yep. And... uh so the way I see this fight, I, th I see Chet coming out, trying hard to knock Roy out of the beginning, which I've seen everybody take pokes at Roy, Roy Nelson's head and not knock him out. And so I think that it's, you're going to see Roy, uh, Roy Nelson with a knockout in the second round. I think you're going to see uh, Chet Congo gas himself in the first round, trying to take him out. I think Roy's a little more savvy, a little more street smart, pick him apart, knock him out. Wow. Yeah, you know, I, I can't tell you how many conversations I've had where people have uh, kind of uh, uh, underestimated the skill level of Roy. Uh, looks are deceiving. Um, but again, like you said, you know, Congo, uh, that, that's a very skilled and incredibly strong guy, too. So, yeah, tough one to call, but you're calling it KO, second round. Yep. Um, and we're locking it in for you. So all of you fans out there, whether you're a Roy fan or a Congo fan, lock in your predictions. And Rick, thanks so much for coming, man. Appreciate it. Always a pleasure. See you at the fights. Right on.